Go. Welcome to Code Corner with Katie. Let's see what's on Thinking Man's mind today. Where can I use a manual sliding door? Ooh, I like this one. Let's take a look. I will be basing my answer using references from IBC 2015. Other editions are similar. Always make sure to consult your state and local codes as well. The IBC requires egress doors to be of the side hinged or pivoted swinging type doors. They can swing in for low occupant load spaces like conference rooms or safe room office, individual offices and things like that. They are required to swing out of the room or space in the direction of egress when the room or area has 50 or more people, regardless of the type of occupancy. And in high hazard group H, they need to swing in the direction of egress or out of the room, regardless of occupant load. But remember, the IBC is an exceptional code, and there are some exceptions that do allow us to use manual sliding doors. Exception number one, in private garages, office areas, factory and storage areas with an occupant load of 10 or less, they allow for not only manual sliding doors, but other types of non-swinging doors, like an overhead door, for example. Exception number two tells us that in I3 occupancies, which are detention and correctional facilities, you could use a sliding door or other type of door, but nobody wants to see the inside of this type of door. Exception number three, in critical or intensive care patient rooms within suites of healthcare facilities, these type of manual sliding doors are usually equipped with a breakout panel so staff can evacuate the patient while they're in their bed and the doors can include smoke seal as required. Exception number four, doors within or serving a single dwelling unit in groups R2 and R3. R2 and R3 are residential occupancies and include apartment houses, dormitories, and vacation timeshare properties, just to name a few. R3 have a lower occupant load of five or fewer people and include residential board and care facilities. Pocket doors, bypass doors, and other manual sliding doors are approved for use in these areas. Exception number eight, door serving a bathroom within an individual sleeping unit in group R1. Group R1 occupancies include hotels, motels, and boarding houses, for example. And exception number nine, in other than group H high hazard occupancies, manual operated horizontal sliding doors are permitted in a means of egress from spaces with an occupant load of 10 or less. This was added to the IBC in the 2009 edition and has been included ever since. And basically any occupancy type other than group H high hazard, when you have an occupant load of 10 or less, you can use a manual sliding door as your means of egress from that space. For more information and continuing education opportunities, please visit Os Abloy Academy by clicking on the link in the comments below. Please click like and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter at Art Consultant and or connect with me on LinkedIn for updates. And if you have a code question that you would like to see featured in this segment or just a code question in general, you can email me at katherine.flower at osobloy.com. Thanks for joining me in the Code Corner today. My name is Katie Flower and my goal is to help you achieve safe security in the built environment.